All right, welcome back, everyone. Today we are diving into something pretty interesting. It's about, uh, well, it's about shapewear, celebrities, and breast cancer awareness. Oh, wow, that's quite the mix. It is. We've got these excerpts from an article. It's called Olivia Munn Embraces Mastectomy Scars in Bold New Skims Campaign. Done being insecure. Okay, I'm intrigued. So it all begins with a photo shoot. Yeah. You know, for skims, leggings, and shapewear, the usual stuff. Right, right. But then Olivia Munn, you know, one of the stars of the campaign, she kind of flips the script. She decides to, get this, show off her mastectomy scars. It's pretty powerful turning a regular ad into something, well, something much bigger. Yeah. Talk about making a statement. It's amazing how one choice can change the whole narrative. Totally. Yeah. Okay, so imagine this. You're at this photo shoot, lights, cameras, and suddenly it's way more revealing than you expected. Oh, I can see where this is going. That's exactly what happened to Munn. The makeup artist, like, automatically starts to cover up her scars. Yeah, it's like a reflex, I guess. Right. And Munn's like, hold on, I'm done being insecure about this. Just like that, in that moment, she owns it. Wow, good for her. That takes guts. It really does. But get this. She didn't stop there. She actually goes to the Skims team and s suggests they change the whole thing. No way. What'd they say? They were totally on board. Yeah. I mean, it's Skims, you know, they're known for a certain image, but they embraced it. They even got Susan G. Komen involved, you know, the breast cancer organization. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Talk about taking a stand. It really makes you think about how powerful partnerships can be, especially when a brand known for a particular aesthetic takes on a message like body positivity. Totally. Okay, but before we go too far, I think we should give some context. You know, Munn's story. Right. Yeah, that's important. So earlier this year, Munn is diagnosed with luminal B breast cancer. Uh-oh, that's one of the more aggressive types, right? Yeah, it is. And this leads to a lot of surgeries. I mean, lymph node dissection, nipple delay procedure, a double mastectomy, breast reconstruction. She even had her ovaries, uterus, and fallopian tubes removed. It's a lot. Oh, my gosh. That's a really tough journey. And on top of all that, she goes through hormone suppression therapy, which basically throws her into early menopause. So when we talk about Mun embracing her scars, it's crucial to remember the battles she's already fought, you know, the incredibly tough journey she's been on. Exactly. It's almost like she's saying, hey, this is me, this is my story, and I'm not hiding anymore. And she chooses to do it with Skims, a brand known for, let's face it, a very carefully crafted image. You're right. It's a pretty interesting contrast. It really is. <laughs> and this is where things get really interesting. You see, by teaming up with Skims, Munn's basically challenging the typical beauty standards we associate with brands like this. Yeah, I see what you mean. She actually said, and I'm quoting here, Skims is so iconic and associated with beauty and sex appeal, and cancer really doesn't have that same connotation. You've got to admit, it really makes you rethink how we define beauty, who gets to be seen as beautiful. It definitely does. But this isn't just about Mun. Think about the impact this has on other women, especially those who've been through something similar. Seeing someone like her in a Skims campaign, proudly showing those scars, that's got to be powerful. Oh, absolutely. It's like a beacon of hope and empowerment for so many. Mun has even said that she hopes this helps other women feel less alone, you know, more comfortable in their own skin. That's so important, that feeling of connection and shared experience. It can make a huge difference. And it opens up a wider conversation about representation, doesn't it? Seeing more diverse bodies and stories in the media, it can really start to change things. For sure. Representation matters. It normalizes differences and challenges those narrow beauty standards that we're all bombarded with. Exactly. But, you know, there's more to Mun's message than just the visual aspect. She's been very upfront about being proactive with your health care, especially for women. Oh, yeah. She doesn't shy away from that, does she? Nope. She even encourages women to, and I quote, inundate their doctors with information until they get the test they need. It's a bold statement, but I get it. It highlights how important it is to stand up for your own health, especially for women who often feel dismissed or ignored in medical settings. You're so right. It's about advocating for yourself, not being afraid to push for answers and the care you deserve. And her message couldn't be more timely, especially now during Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Exactly. Early detection is key. And Mun's story is a reminder that we need to be aware of the risks, the symptoms, and get those regular screenings. You know, when she says inundate your doctor, it sounds intense, but 
think about it, early detection is so crucial when it comes to breast cancer. And that's something she's really passionate about. It's like a call to action for women, you know, yeah. be informed, be proactive and don't back down when it comes to your health. Right. It's about owning your health journey and not being afraid to, you know, ask those tough questions or even get a second opinion if you need to. But it's not just on us as individuals. Skims is actually stepping up, too. And this is another fascinating part of this whole campaign. Totally. They're not just, you know, using her story. They're putting their money where their mouth is during that last week of October. They're donating a portion of their bra sales to Susan G. Komen. And just to be clear, that's a big chunk of change. Going to a leading organization, you know, the ones focused on research awareness and support for those affected by breast cancer. So it's more than just visuals here. There's a real commitment behind it. Yeah, it's a multi-layered approach, isn't it? Awareness, representation, actual support. It says a lot about how seriously Skins is taking this, and it makes you wonder, could this be a sign of things to come for other brands? You yeah. know, in terms of how they approach these issues, are we moving past just awareness into real action? That's a great point. It's like they're saying, we're not just talking the talk, we're walking the walk. And that could totally inspire others to follow suit, you yeah. know, to create this ripple effect across industries. Imagine that brands using their platforms to not just sell stuff, but to really support causes that matter. That'd be something, wouldn't it? It would, but let's circle back to the heart of it all. Mm. Olivia Munn's choice to show her scars is powerful visually. But what's the deeper message, you know, about how we view beauty as a society, especially yeah. when we're talking about something as heavy as cancer? That's the question, isn't it? We throw around phrases like challenging beauty standards, but what's the real impact does it make people uncomfortable? Does it create space for different bodies in the media? You know, does it encourage other brands to do similar things? It's like she's cracked this door open for us to re-examine what we think about beauty and self-acceptance. Mm. What it even means to be a survivor. And it's not just about overcoming hardship, but finding beauty and being vulnerable. Exactly. There's strength in letting ourselves be seen. You mm. know, even the parts we might want to hide it creates this space for genuine connection, empathy, a reminder that we're all in this together. It's like she's giving us permission to embrace those parts of ourselves that we maybe try to keep hidden. This campaign goes way beyond just Olivia Munn. It's about what her story represents. Mm -hmm. You know, vulnerability, resilience, self-acceptance that shared human experience. And that resonates with everyone, not just those touched by breast cancer or any specific illness. It's for anyone who's ever felt less than or insecure. It's a powerful reminder that we're all perfectly imperfect. Those imperfections are what make us beautiful, interesting, real. It's about shifting that focus, isn't it? From what we're lacking to what we have, what we're not, to who we truly are. But how do we take this conversation beyond this deep dive, you know, and actually integrate it into our lives? Now that's the million dollar question, isn't it? I think it begins with awareness, just being mindful of the messages we're taking in from the media. Yeah? Yeah, from social media, even from that little voice in our heads. Are we always comparing ourselves? Are we chasing after this impossible idea of perfection? Are we fixated on what we see as flaws yeah. instead of celebrating what makes us strong and unique? It's like we've been trained to believe our worth is tied to how well we fit in with these external standards. Right. And Munn's campaign is like this giant middle finger to all of that. It's saying, hey, true beauty is about owning your individuality, all the messy, imperfect parts of it. You know, it's interesting because the campaign itself is still visually stunning and skims. So it's beautifully mm -hmm. shot, great lighting, all that. But the message goes so much deeper than just looks. They've taken this platform that's usually all about traditional beauty and flipped it on its head. They're not shying away from what breast cancer is or what it can do to a woman's body. They're showing it, but in a way that's artistic and empowering. Yeah. They're reclaiming the narrative, taking something often seen as negative or taboo and turning it into something beautiful, something that makes you think. We've got to get away from this idea that some bodies are acceptable and others aren't. We should be celebrating the whole spectrum of human experience, the beauty in our differences, and that includes the stories our bodies tell, even the tough ones. Absolutely. And it's not just about looks either. It's about embracing the full range of human emotions and experiences, you know, allowing ourselves to be vulnerable to show those scars, both the physical and emotional ones, and to connect with others through those shared experiences. You know, it makes me think about how we use the word survivor to describe people who've been through things like cancer, but it's not just about living through something. It's about thriving in spite of it, finding meaning and purpose in the midst of adversity and using our experiences to empower ourselves and others. That's such a powerful way to look at it. It's not just surviving. It's about using those experiences to grow, to evolve, to become even stronger and more resilient.
Mun's campaign is a perfect example of that. She's taken this incredibly tough experience and turned it into something positive, something that can inspire others. She's not just a survivor, she's a thriver. And that's a message we can all take away from this. No matter what our individual journey looks like, we all have scars, visible or not. And it's through embracing those scars, those imperfections, that we truly become our authentic selves. Okay, so now let's switch gears for a bit and talk about the more practical side of things. Mun's been really vocal about the importance of proactive health care, especially for women. Right. She even goes as far as to say women should inundate their doctors with information until they get the tests they need. That's a pretty bold statement. But I think it speaks to how frustrating it can be for women trying to advocate for their own health. It, do, it highlights how important it is to be informed and assertive when it comes to our health, to be proactive, to ask questions, do our research, and not be afraid to speak up for ourselves. And this is especially relevant during Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Early detection is so crucial, and we need to be aware of the risks, the symptoms, and make sure we're getting those regular screenings. But this campaign, it, it goes beyond just awareness. It's about taking action. It's about prompting women to take charge of their health and seek help when they need it. And that brings us back to Skims and their involvement in this whole thing. They're not just using Munn's story for marketing. They're backing it up by donating some of their bra sales to Susan G. Komen. Yeah, it's like they're saying, look, we're not just talking about this. We're doing something about it. And that sends a powerful message. Hopefully it'll inspire other companies to do the same. We need more brands and organizations using their platforms to raise awareness and support important causes like breast cancer research. But beyond that corporate responsibility, there's a bigger question here. How do we as individuals, you and me, contribute to a more inclusive and accepting view of beauty? That's a tough one. Where do we even start? I think it starts with us challenging those assumptions, you know, mm -hmm. the ones we have about ourselves and others. We need to be more aware of what we're taking in from the media, you know, from social media, even from that voice in our heads, and start to question those stories we've been told to believe. It's about realizing those perfect images we see everywhere. They're not real. Even the people in those photos have insecurities and imperfections. Mm. Nobody's perfect, and that's okay. It's like once you realize perfection is fake, yeah. it takes the pressure off. Yeah. Right? You can let go of that impossible ideal and just be yourself. Exactly. You got. It's about giving ourselves permission to be perfectly imperfect, you know? And that includes everything that makes us unique, even the stuff we might think of as flaws, scars, wrinkles, stretch marks. It's all part of our story. And those stories... They're worth celebrating. So how do we get there? How do we move past comparing ourselves and embrace who we really are? Well, it's not always easy, but it starts with small things. You know, one thing you can do is pay attention to how you talk to yourself. Mm -hmm. Notice those negative thoughts and judgments that pop up and challenge them. Ask yourself, is this even true? Is this helpful? Would I say this to a friend? It's like becoming aware of those negative thought patterns and making a choice to reframe them, mm -hmm. you know, in a more positive way, more compassionate way. It's like treating yourself with the same kindness you'd offer a friend. Exactly. And another thing is to curate your environment, both online and offline. Surround yourself with positive influences. You know, people, media experiences, things that lift you up and make you feel good about yourself. Follow accounts that celebrate diversity and body positivity and unfollow the ones that make you feel insecure or not good enough. It's crazy how much control we have over our own world, mm -hmm. right? We can choose what we let in and what we keep out. And on that note, what's one last piece of advice you'd give our listeners? Practice gratitude. Focus on the things you appreciate about yourself, you know, both physically and emotionally. Write a list of your strengths, your accomplishments, those things that make you you and remind yourself of those things regularly. Gratitude is like a superpower against negative self-talk and comparing yourself to others. So true gratitude helps us shift our focus from what we lack to what we have, from what we're not to who we really are. You know, this whole thing with Olivia Munn and Skims, it might have started as a conversation about shapewear and scars, but it's become something much bigger. It's a reminder that real beauty comes from embracing our true selves and perfections and all. It's those imperfections, our stories, our scars, our vulnerabilities that connect us to each other and make us beautifully human. That's a great point. So as we wrap up this deep dive, I want to leave you with this question. What does beauty mean to you? And how can you start embracing your own unique and authentic beauty today? Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep celebrating the beauty in yourself and the world around you. Until next time, 